gloves. I care about sanitation. All right, first patient. I feel so alone and I'm pretty sure everyone hates me. A festival, so what you have to do is I'm gonna need you to go to the main stage and you're gonna meet up with 20 people there and engage in a big group hug. You're gonna leave with 20 new friends and 20 interesting trinkets afterwards too. I can't sleep at night. I'm so stressed out and my brain just won't shut off. I don't know what to do. No, I hear you. And what I'm going to need you to do is to go to a festival, a weekend festival, and you're going to let that bass drown out all that noise in your head. Yeah, Doc, these circulation issues are just really killing me. I can't feel my legs well anymore. See, this one's actually an easy fix. So what you have to do is go to a festival and you're going to walk around for 10 miles. And I know that sounds like a lot, but you're not even going to notice it between hopping around to the different stages, the vendors and the exhibits. You're going to hit that 10 miles in no time. Yeah, Doc, my neck has just been stiff from sitting at my desk all day. Festival, head banging. You're gonna forget you even have a neck after that. I really don't know what else to do and my anxiety has just been through the roof. I'm gonna need you to go to a festival. You're gonna dance like no one is watching because literally no one is and no one cares. And the best place to experience that is at a festival. Some common festival side effects may include sudden urge to buy overpriced glow sticks and finger crowns, temporary hearing loss, glitter everywhere, forever, chronic hugging and high-fiving of strangers, confusion about whether it's day or night or if time even exists anymore, the irresistible need to tell everyone that this is the best festival you've ever attended, ever. Post-festival depression, which could last for three to five business days, endless philosophical discussions with rocks, trees, and inflatables, melting into the ground, profound friendships formed in the line of the porta-potties, the sudden realization that you've been wearing sunglasses at night for three days straight. I take my job very seriously. 